Okay, without the guys at Michelin, the Michelin MX Nationals powered by Milwaukee simply wouldn't happen. Uh, so we're fortunate enough to have the main man here, Andy James. Andy, first and foremost, thanks for the support of the series. Um, obviously, you've been with us right from the start. So, how's you know? Thanks for sticking with us. Um, You're most welcome. <laughs> thank you. How's how's it? How do you think it's gone? You know, for us and, and for you as a brand. It's the, the, the MX Nationals, uh, without wishing to uh, blow smoke up the team's uh, backside, it's, it's every year they seem to come out with something new, be it the, the GP style start gates, the live streaming which is getting bigger and bigger and the audiences are getting bigger and bigger. You know, it's, it's the premium motocross series in the UK and we're very, very proud to be a uh, sponsor of it uh, and, and, and this year with new products coming out, it's more uh, important and more apparent to us than, than ever before. So, uh, yeah, roll on this season. Seamless link. He, he's, he's totally pro. He's <laughs> saying about the new stuff that we bring into the series. And it just so happens, here we are with a with a new product uh, for this year in our in our market as well, the motocross market. Indeed. Tell us what you got there. So this is the brand new uh, Starcross 6, taken over from the Starcross 5. Massively inventive name. Uh, the Starcross, Starcross name has been around for the wh a while, so we saw no need to change that. However, we wanted to shake up the market a little bit. We'd uh, done a lot of research uh, and a lot of testing. I know uh, Paul especially had been involved in the development of the tyres. Obviously, they're not developed specifically for the UK market. This is a global product, so we need to meet the demands of riders in all conditions. So the main change for the Starcross 6 over the 5, we've changed the naming convention on it slightly. So instead of a medium and a soft, we've got a medium hard and a medium soft. Still a specific sand tyre. There's also a rear mud tyre, which will be great for some of the UK conditions. The big thing for us is uh, the performance of the tyre has improved over the Starcross 5. But it's the first motocross tyre to have 100% silica rubber in it which increases the robustness and the durability. So not only does the tyre last longer, it also keeps the performance level as the tyre starts to wear, which is absolutely critical in some of the longer races. So on this, this is the, an example of the new medium soft. As you can see, it's got a slightly buffered surface yeah. on it, which will give you immediate traction. You can also notice on the blocks, the way they're shaped, uh, right down into the base rubber as well, it's not a, a cosmetic thing. It's designed to resist tread block tearing, which is obviously a, a major concern on a motocross tyre. And again, increase the robustness of the tyre, so that performance lasts for the whole of the race. And, and obviously, like you've said, there's been development from even our guys at the M Michelin MX Nationals, but sure. how imperative is it as well with supporting race teams and getting the feedback with, with that because it's not just like let's throw the tires on that that team bike to get our name there's so much more than that it's r d a lot with the teams as well isn't it absolutely and there's a big difference between a, a guy who's fast and, and and gets on the podium and wears your cap that's fantastic don't get me wrong but a guy who can go out on a tire and tell you what's right or what's wrong and how it could be tweaked is is invaluable to us uh, and that's not always the fastest guy but it's the guy who's most consistent and the guy who can go and put in lap after lap after lap and you look at the time and it's consistent and you can look at a lap and go, this is where we change the tyre, this is the difference it's made. But also where you can sit down afterwards and tell you, in the corner it was doing this, on the straight it was doing this. That's invaluable to us. And that's why you end up with a tyre like this. Well, it's great. I'm looking forward to seeing that coming out. So, you know, when, when are we looking at that these, got, these will be available? Rough. I know you haven't got an exact timeline, no. but... Um, we're looking, I think we're going to be looking probably the start of March uh, for the medium soft, medium hard, maybe April for the mud and the sand. I'm just trying to look at, look at Paul's itinerary and the <laughs> tracks we're going to and thinking, are we going to have the right tyre for the right track? The good news is we will still have the Starcross 5. Because this was supposed to come out in, in January, we've pushed the launch back just to make sure we've got enough product. Uh, but they have ramped up production of Starcross 5 to fill that gap in supply. So, yes, people will get tyres. It might not be the new tyre, but at least they'll have rubber, which I think in, in the current climate of, uh, of shortages on most things is, yeah. uh, is absolutely paramount. We wouldn't want to be the reason that people were uh, not racing. Well, listen, thanks so much. I know you've got to hold that tie, but I'm still going to offer to shake your hand. Uh, okay, thank you so much uh, for, for, for all that you're doing for us, you know, with the Mitch and MX Nationals and, of course, for the sport as well. So uh, long, may, long may this relationship continue. And we'll see you trackside. You will. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks.